all my life I've been a nomad. I was born in Somalia and my family left Somalia and we lived in Saudi Arabia for one year. Then we moved from Saudi Arabia and we moved to Ethiopia and we lived there for one and a half years. And then we moved to Kenya and we lived there for 10 years. And then I moved to the Netherlands and lived there for 14 years. And now I live in the United States of America. I use the word nomad in the book and find it apt because it's not just a journey from, a, from place to place, not just a geographical journey, but I also made um, a mental journey. I was brought up with the values of um, my grandmother. My grandmother was a nomad. She led a tribal life and she moved from waterhole to waterhole. I was brought up as a devout Muslim and I was loyal to the bloodline. I moved from that and I have come to accept now the values of Western liberalism. And that in itself is not just a journey um, that took me from one place to another place, but it has changed my value system, the way I view life and the way I lead my life with all the consequences that entails. I tell the story of members of my family to illustrate how the universal themes of sex, aggression and money, when we were growing up, we were taught to value them, how we were taught to understand them. And then coming to the West, I realized, my goodness, the way they look at these three things is so different. It couldn't be more different from the way we in Somalia and as uh, Muslim communities view these things. And that is also part of Nomad. In my travels promoting Infidel, I was asked a lot of questions, for instance, about my family uh, by the readers of Infidel. I was asked um, about, okay, now we know the problem with Islam, but how do you solve this? How do you approach this problem? And it's those questions that really led to the writing of Nomad. <laughs>